Okay, I'm going to show you in this screencast how to use vSTEM and the spectrophotometer simulation that you will be using. If you go to vSTEM.org and you are not logged in, you will see a sign that says you must log in to record applet use. So to get credit in your homework, you have to log in. So I'm going to log in as fake student. Submit. So now I'm at the user hub. I can click on the spectrophotometer. And this is basically three parts, the basic parts of a spectrophotometer. We've got our light source, the cuvette with our sample, and the sensor. You can click and drag the cuvette width. You can change the concentration by dragging up and down. You can change the light intensity on the spectrophotometer over here by dragging up and down, or the light color by dragging left and right. Or you can set all those things uh, in the text boxes below. So, um, basic controls of all these simulations, we've got play, pause, fast forward, eject, and I'll get into some of those in just a bit. But if I play this simulation, it's going to consume the molecule that has color and it'll become clear and transparent. Um, you'll need that for your kinetics homework, um, but you're also doing just homework that just relates to the spectrophotometer, it has nothing to do with... Uh, the kinetics, uh, you'll be determining an unknown molar extinction coefficient right here, and an unknown initial concentration right here. I don't want to show you exactly how to do those, so I'm going to do an unknown cuvette width, which you probably would never do in real life. But uh, So I click on the symbol for cuvette width, W, and it shows question marks here, which means that's what I, I need to solve for. So. Um, I can't change the cuvette width, that's the thing I'm solving for, so, uh, but I need to get it so that the spectrophotometer is calibrated, which would mean that at 100% uh, all the light goes through, there's no um, molecules in there that absorb the light, that I should have 100% transmittance. The transmittance is plotted over here, so 1 would be 100% transmittance. So to make sure I've got the right light intensity, I would need to make the concentration 0, and everything is clear. So I'm a little bit high here, so I need to drag it so that's at 100%. And I can look down here and see that that power is 51%. So that would be an appropriate power to use when uh, I'm trying to determine the cuvette width. So now I want to add molecules of A back in. So I'm going to add one maybe times 10 to the minus 5. See if that's about OK. And that looks about right. Um, I'm going to want to uh, get, get the uh, wavelength of light such that I'm measuring the maximum molar extinction coefficient, which means that's where the substance absorbs the most light. So because this is kind of purple, it absorbs a yellow. If I were to go over here and make a purple light, most of that light makes it through to the sensor, so you wouldn't want to use a purple light in this case. So I want to situate the, the wavelength of the light over where it absorbs the most, and then get the power such that where it doesn't absorb, it's 100% transmittance, which was 51% from the last thing that we did. So there, it's it's ready to go. I have everything I need to read. I could just read the uh, absorption absorbance off of uh, up up here where it's 1.751, uh, and do the calculations that way. Instead, I'm going to run the simulations. Nothing's going to react. I just want to show you what uh, what it looks like when you eject this data. So I'm going to run the simulation for a while. Nothing is happening. It would if you're trying to determine kinetic parameters. And then I have two choices. I can eject the data. It'll create a new window with all the data on there. I can copy that and paste that into Excel. Or I can download the data. And it'll create a comma-separated value file, which you can just click on and open that with Excel as well. So I'm going to open that. And so here we have everything that we need to calculate the width. The width should be the absorbance. So I'm going to say equals absorbance divided by the concentration divided by the molar extinction coefficient, with it, which is this epsilon A. So I got that, I got a width of 2.7137 something. I'm gonna copy that and paste it into the text box there. And I wanna do it for credit. I believe I'll get this right. And I got it right. So 
uh, and within air, you're allowed to be outside of the correct answer by 5%. And I was 0.1% off, so I received credit for that assignment. If there's any questions, come find us. We'll help you out.